Hey everyone, my name is Amber. I'm sure you And we're back with another reaction video. Today we're doing the Dark Element Songs of the Night. Songs the Night Sings. Yep, and it's Female Fronted Friday. Yep. Been a minute since we've done the Dark Element. I think it was March of last year. Well, I will say that's better than the stuff from 2020. <laughs> yeah. So, um, let's get in there and see what they got first this time. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, this one's giving me Nightwish vibes. It does. <laughs> the key's definitely adding that Nightwishy vibes. It does. Um, it's pretty good. Not amazing. Um, I think that's a little soft. Yeah, she is a little bit. I was having a little bit of trouble understanding. So I had to turn it up a couple times. I was like, okay, because the past couple videos we've been doing, I had to keep it low because everything was just so loud. This one just feels so quiet. But yeah, her voice, I mean, obviously the music's <laughs> louder, but her voice is on the qui yeah. quieter side. Um, not an amazing song, though, even without that. Uh, it's good, but I wouldn't say it's amazing. No, but it's enjoyable, and I like the symphonic elements in it. Yeah, I do too. Um, I think it's a good average song. Like, I don't know, it almost feels like it could be like, a filler for an album like it's nothing it's good but it's nothing stand out like you know singles usually are they're usually big bombastic in your face so it's supposed to build up hype for the album 
This one just doesn't, I don't know, feel like that. Yeah, I think it would, though, also, if Annette was a little higher in the mix, that would make the song a little bit better, so we can actually understand what she's singing. Yeah, I agree. And then, I only see her and the guitarist. The other ones we actually saw were more the band. So, I know that there was some lineup changes with the band. I guess maybe it's just, I mean, it's, I, what, isn't it just, like, his band, and then she's just, like, a singer for it? Yeah, because it's a Pro everybody has told us it's a project, not a band. But either way, it's his project. Yeah. Which is a bit... I don't know. I wonder why he chose to do it that way. But, hey, to each their own, right? I mean, I guess they have the other stuff recorded already. Or, or this video. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty good so far. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I mean, the Dark Element has been, I mean, I'll say, she fits very, and that fits very well with this kind of stuff. Yep. Well, let's finish it off. That's interesting. Yeah, it seemed like near the end I could hear her better. Usually how it ends up. Um, right after we stopped, it kind of gave me a proggy feel. Like, um, the solo from, what is that, Strangers of Stardust? No, Addicted. That's the one we did. Addicted was the first one we did. Yeah. Um, the uh, solo right after we started playing it again, it sounded like it was pulled from that song. Like, it had that tonality to it. Yeah, a little bit I could hear. Um. Yeah, the guitar solo is really good, though. Yeah. the Everything in the song was good. I just wish it was a little bit more. Like, it was louder, and... But overall, it was pretty good. Yeah, my main concern was just being her being louder. The music was fine. I, at least I didn't think it needed to be louder. It, but if it would be louder, they would have to make her louder. So there's a lot <laughs> that goes involved with that. Like, I would say definitely make at least her louder. Mm hmm Um... Because it was a little bit... I mean, I did get bits and pieces of what she was saying throughout. Um, obviously, Hear the Songs the Night sings was very easy to hear. But, um, just would have liked... Because she does have a really pretty voice. She does. Like, I enjoyed her voice, even with her time in Nightwish. I just feel like this is a slightly better fit. I just, like I said before, I wish it was a little louder. I know we keep saying that in a lot of videos. We haven't said it much lately, but... Um. Yeah, it's just a thing for us. Well, since that's the main thing you can focus on. Yeah, and in general with the vocalist, I mean, well, I guess it depends on the song if you're stressing, like, on the vocalist or not. Like, some bands tend to do more with the instruments. Mm -hmm. But if it's a band that they're focusing, if the vocalist is their main focal point, you want to put the vocalist at least a little bit higher than everything else. Because <laughs> um, that does make it harder if you've never heard the song and then you have to look up the lyrics. I mean, we'll have to look up the lyrics later anyway, but um, 
It is a pretty, it was really a pretty song. Like, I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. I enjoyed it. Um, I think I'm just going to give it an 8.2. I think I'm going to give this an 8.5 because it was still really pretty. I loved all the pretty symphonic elements and I do love her voice. Yeah. So, so it was really good. Yep. Uh, please check out links in the description for the video and all of our social media. And we just want to let you know that both our Patreon and PayPal are now open. But we would like you to check out our community tab to see our new song-length guidelines for PayPal. Until next time. Bye. Bye.